right. Directions in problems 13 through 16 say in problems 13 through 16, the points given lie in a line. Find the slope of the line. So if we look at number 13, if we remember the slope of the line, if I can find my cursor, there we go, is y over x. So on number 13 and 14, what we basically need to do is just subtract our y's and subtract the x's. So I'm going to start by circling my y's and I'm going to go left to right. doesn't matter if you go left to right or right to left. I'll get seven minus two. And then my y's, oh, I don't know why I did that, are going, uh, my x's, excuse me, will be negative three minus five. And so seven minus two is five. Negative three minus five is negative eight. So my slope is five over negative eight. If you went the other way, I would have had two minus seven over five minus negative three. That would have given me also that negative five over eight. All right, number 14, same thing. I'm going to circle my y's. This time I'm going to go right minus left, even though it doesn't really matter. The y's subtracting would be six minus two. And then my x's would be negative seven minus negative seven. All right, six minus two is four. Negative seven minus negative seven would be zero. If you could leave change opposite, notice they just cancel each other out. So we're not going to leave our answer like that. If you use your calculator, you're going to get a divide by zero arrow error, which means the slope on this one is undefined. So make sure, don't just leave it four over zero, make sure you take that extra step. Okay, the next one, all of these points lie in a line, so we only need two of the points. So I'm going to pick probably the easiest ones, I guess. I'm going to pick four, two, and six, seven. So I'm going to write them as points. This is the point four, two, and this is the point six, seven. So now I can subtract, and I'm going to again go right to left. So I'm going to um, circle my y's. So y over x would be 7 minus 2 over 6 minus 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. If you would have gone the other way, you would have gotten negative 5 over negative 2, which is also the same. You could also, if you picked any of the points, you could have gotten 10 over 4. Um, you might have gotten 15 over 6. All of those would be um, actually 15 over 8. Those would all be fine answers. So they would all reduce to the five over two. Okay, 16. Once again, we have four points. I only need two. So I'll pick the first one and I'm going to pick the last one this time. So my two points are zero comma two and three comma two. Uh, y is on the top. So I'm going to circle my y's. I'm going to do two minus two. This time I'm going to go left to right and I'll have zero minus three. So two minus two is zero. Zero minus three is negative three. And then once again, I'm going to Use my calculator, zero divided by negative three does give me an answer of zero. So the slope of that line is zero. You might've gotten a different number on the bottom, but it still reduces to zero. Okay, problem 17 says to find the slope of the line pictured and we know slope is y distance over x distance. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a triangle. This distance right here is one, two, three. This distance right here is two. And if we are looking at the slope, it's just the y distance over the x distance. So it's going to be three over two. And this line is heading down. So the slope is going to be negative three over two. Number 18, once again, I'm going to find that slope. I'm going to draw a triangle connecting the two points. My y distance would be one, two, three. My x distance would be two. So my slope again is y or y distance over x distance. So it's going to be three over two. This line is heading up. So my answer will be positive. All right, number 19, it just says to identify the slope of the line as positive, negative, zero, or undefined. So this problem, um, if we try to walk that line, we actually did this with our motion detector that wasn't, it's not able, this would be like covering more than one spot in no time at all, which is cannot be done. So this is an undefined slope. And if we use the slope formula for it, we'd get something that divides by zero, which would be a divide by zero error. Okay, this one right here, once again, identify the slope of the line as positive, negative, zero, or undefined. If you start at the left side of the line and work towards the right, you'll notice you are heading up. So it is an increasing slope. So it's going to have a positive slope. All right, and then problem 21, it says to find the slope using the picture below. Once again, we know slope is the y distance divided by the x distance. The y is going up and down. And I notice they did tell me that my y distance is nine. And then the x distance is 18. So my slope is going to be 9 over 18. Circle 1, is it increasing or decreasing? The slope is going up if I start at the left, going to the right. And then this says, what would happen to the slope of the roof if the run were 
increased to 12 feet. So if we're not sure what run is. Run looks like it's this distance right here. So it's just rise over run. Run is decreased to 12. So it's telling us instead of this being 18, it's only going to be 12 now, All right? So what would happen to that steepness? If that this distance turned to 12 instead, notice the roof would look like that instead, which is going to make a steeper roof. So what would happen to the slope? It would become steeper. And then the last question is, what would the new slope be? Well, instead of having 9 over 18, I'm now going to have 9 over my new number, which is going to be 9 over 12. And there we go.